The F1 driver market change we've never seen before. The F1 driver market, or silly season as it's often known, has been absolutely wild this year. Not just because of the sheer number of changes, but the fact that it's been so incredibly unpredictable. It's felt like one week a driver is rumoured at a team, only for that team to change the following week completely. And this is all thanks to a certain trend no longer appearing to apply in the driver market. For as long as I can remember, it's felt like the grid has been somewhat predetermined by F1 junior teams. Take George Russell, for example. As a Mercedes junior, he was placed in the Williams and would always end up at Mercedes if he impressed. This has meant that if a seat became available, you already knew the driver who would get it. A Mercedes junior would go to Mercedes. A Red Bull junior would go to one of the Red Bull teams. An Alpine Academy driver would go to an... Okay, maybe not that last one, but you get the idea. However, this season all hell broke loose when Oscar Piastri publicly shunned the Alpine seat and chose to drive for their direct competition in the championship, McLaren. It seems these carved out career paths no longer apply. Mercedes boss Toto Wolff expressed his concerns when Piastri's move to McLaren was confirmed and the implications it would have on F1. We invest human resources that go to the go-kart tracks, to the junior formulas, and in some cases, it's little money, some cases, it's more. To know now that a precedent has been set that if you're clever, you can manoeuvre yourself out is something that's clearly not good for the industry. This level of chaos, though, has made the 2023 silly season probably the silliest ever. Look at what's followed with the two most recent announcements. Firstly, Pierre Gasly has been a Red Bull junior since 2014 and even had a contract with Alpha Tauri for 2023, but that hasn't stopped him from moving to Alpine. Then we have Nick De Vries. He's a guy who won the Formula E world title with Mercedes and spent much of this season sitting next to Toto Wolff in the Mercedes garage. So it wasn't a surprise that he'd been rumoured to get the Williams seat, a Mercedes powered team. But no, he's gone off and signed a deal with Helmut Marco instead of all people and joined the Red Bull family with Alpha Tauri. Some will agree with Toto that drivers should stay loyal to the companies that have helped them during their career. Is. But the fact drivers have gone looking elsewhere and done better for themselves is exactly what's made this silly season so exciting and unpredictable. There you have it, a change in the F1 driver market. Do you like the fact drivers can just move between teams? Let us know in the comment section below.